on July 3rd, 2014, um, I heard it, my wife and I heard the words pulmonary fibrosis for the first time. It, it's untreatable, except with a lung transplant. That's the only way it's cured now. The Cleveland Clinic called and they said they had lungs available for me. My quality of life um, has always, um, since the transplant, was limited because we had a condition called stenosis and that happens in like I think 25% of lung transplant patients. I would have to have these regular bronchoscopies to open them back up because they would close back up and from day one they put in five stents and there was five key areas that were kept shutting down and closing up. They're going to catch microscopic particles and clog up more so we're going to have to do bronchoscopies more but they're going to keep you breathing. I, I had to come back then frequently for bronchoscopies and I realized after a bronchoscopy I knew I had about two weeks of really good breathing, smooth breathing, and um, then it'd be two weeks of medium rough breathing. Um, but then they would get clogged up. And this was doing, with doing breathing treatments an hour every day, sometimes twice a day, I would have to do breathing treatments to just keep them clear. So that is hard to do. <laughs> So I first found out about the True Freeze product from my doctor um, and um, Dr. Sethi of the Cleveland Clinic, who has probably done 90 to 95 percent of all my bronchoscopies. She's memorized my lungs. She's an amazing lady. So after a treatment, I didn't feel any differently after a, a cryo treatment. Um, if my doctor hadn't told me, I would have wondered why I'm breathing so well. The second treatment, she explained to the nurses in the room what we were going to do. I remember going through Thanksgiving and it's like, huh, something's different. It's, and I, she scheduled them every month. So I was due back in a couple weeks and it's like, I don't know why I have to go back in a couple weeks. I really breathing strong. Um, and then it was early December. I knew I had another appointment in early January. This was going to be three months of doing this. And, um, and I knew I didn't. I, by the end of, Jan, of December, I was like, I don't know why I'm going back for another bronch because I'm breathing strong and smooth. And then that appointment, we set, okay, let's try it, stretch it out to eight weeks. And, um, and it was even still in March, I knew I don't really need to be here because I'm breathing that strong. And so I'd ask Dr. Stess, what is the name of this stuff? And what is, and what, what exactly do you do? Um, because it's, and so I could tell people, this is a game changer. It, it really has changed my life. And I had so much energy and vision. I wasn't doing the, breathing treatments at all. I could stop them. So you gain two hours just of a day. I currently don't have any stents left. Um, that probably changed in January. I, um, Dr. Sethi took them all out. She says, I don't think you need them. And that was really the first time we had tested to try to go to eight weeks and, and did just fine. And cryotherapy, has, bottom line, given me hope. And now I get to live a normal life. It's like, it's so encouraging and, 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 um, and just hope filled. Before cryotherapy, immediately after my transplant, and I think there were some weeks that I was getting a bronchoscopy weekly. I go for a bronch tomorrow, and it's been 13 weeks. The problem with stents is they solve the immediate problem of, okay, you can breathe again, but they clog up so quickly. I'm so glad 
to do this video and testimony, patient testimonial. Um, I can't imagine this is unknown and doctors are still putting in stents when this is available because the difference is so drastic. It, this is just a new day and it's just a um, new hope. Everything has changed.